Maniacs, it's time for another spooky video. And for tonight's spooky video, I'm going to be continuing my little subscriber story series. And tonight I'm going to be sharing with you all my best friend Sabrina's paranormal story. And if you were unaware, Sabrina has a paranormal channel of her own, which will all be in the description box below so you can go check that out and if you would like to share a paranormal story of your own I always have an email down in the description box below where you can send it in and I will feature it in a video here on my channel. Sabrina said that she was staying at her mom's old house back where she used to live and Apparently this house was very haunted. She also stated that during this time it was summer and everyone who lived in the house was away at her mom's beach house at the time. And the only people that were there were her and her brother. She said that her mom still lives in this house to this day. Like, I guess she moved away and then she moved back into the house. She asked her brother if he would mind going to the store and grabbing her a few things and one of the things that she had mentioned was a lamp because it was very dark in her house and she said that she was very tired after getting home from work and she didn't feel like going anywhere that day. She said her brother left to go to the store for her and she was minding her business texting one of her friends on her phone. Her bedroom door was opened and in the hallway out of the corner of her eye she said she seen something move. She said it looked as though it walked down the hallway and when she fully looked and caught a glimpse of it, it looked just like her brother. Like it had all of his features. That day he was wearing a turned around baseball cap and this figure had a baseball cap which was turned around. The only thing was, she said she couldn't see its face. Its face was just a blur or darkness. She just assumed it was her brother coming home from the store, even though it was very quick of a trip for him. She said the store is probably like 15, 20 minutes away from where they live and he could easily just walk there. She figured it was him getting home from the store and she didn't think anything of it. So she decided to call out to him. Did you get the lamp? And she didn't get a response. So she called out to him again. Did you get the lamp? Once again, she didn't get any response. So she started calling out his name and she said she called out to him about three times. And she said by the third time she called out his name and she didn't get a response. She got a very eerie feeling in the pit of her stomach because she knew that wasn't him. She said she grew chills all over her body. Another thing was that this home that her mom was living at, which she still lives at, the door, whenever you opened it, made that really like creepy squeaky sound. She did not hear the door open. She did not hear that sound. So if it was her brother, she would have heard the door creak open. She said at this point, she began to freak out, understandably and she could feel a really weird presence around her and almost as if the entity were waiting right outside the room for her. So she began crying and shaking. She thought at first that this figure which she was seeing was an intruder which had broken into her home 
but the problem was that her mom lived on the fifth floor of the building. That was nearly impossible for someone to do. So she began saying, you are not welcome here in the name of Jesus Christ and began praying and she said it, you could feel the energy shift and whatever this entity was it left so there was sabrina's story thank you baby for sharing your story with me and for allowing me to share it on my channel if you haven't already definitely go over and check out sabrina's content and subscribe to her she makes really awesome paranormal content and if you're interested in mine I'm sure you're going to be interested in hers as well. And once again, if you'd like to share your own paranormal story with me, I have an email in the description box below where you can send it in to me and I will feature it in one of my videos. I love hearing all of your stories and I can't wait to hear more and share more on my channel. And I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a big old thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you have not already and become more of a maniac and be sure to hit that bell notification That way you get notified every single time I upload a new video And I love you so so much and thank you so much for watching